So today we are testing the world's newest circular saw and it's by a reputable company. Me and you, we're gonna do this together. But first, we gotta get some woodage. All right, here we go. Woo! Hmm, what to do, what to do. All right, so we really gotta find something that's gonna put this new circular saw through its paces. So, uh, hmm. Got some one by, treat it four by four. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna do just fine. Whoop. And that, so muddy today. Listen to that, squish, squish. Ugh. So we got the $500 pieces of wood that we're gonna slice and dice, use and abuse in today's video. If you could smash that like button at any time if this video helps you, it's greatly appreciated. Now today's circular saw is the newest circular saw to hit the market. This is not a company that makes a tool, drops it overnight and then just disappears. This company has been around for years and years and years. They have a very respectable name. They are made by one of the biggest tool manufacturers on the face of the planet. And they have been going crazy in the year 2022 and 2023 when releasing new power tools. But here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna start slicing and dicing and then eventually you'll see who this saw manufacturer is. Yep, you are correct. This is the brand new skill, seven and a quarter right bladed circular saw. Power Core XP to be exact. Let's do a little bit more slicing and dicing and we'll talk about the specs of this saw. Yeah, I'm probably most definitely gonna blow my back out today. So weak and feeble. We got some two by eight pine inch woodage. I really need to start doing some cardio. All right, tape measure. Now I absolutely know that I have a thousand pencils around here somewhere and I can't find one. Seriously, is that only me that this happens to? So annoying. Aha! And just to be clear, I wasn't joking. I literally bought 10 of these boxes with the 100 pencils in each one and they're empty. I can only find one. I think that's the way the universe is telling me, time to clean up your mess. I really don't know what's going on. I mean, all BS aside, I have like a hundred of these damn squares and they're all gone. They're all gone, they all hang together. And the only thing that's left on this is the actual level, the slider. What is going on? It was either the Makita Gnome or that vegan cookie good guy over at BCG Construction. Vance, I believe his name is. I mean, this is how I know we live in a matrix. All my stuff disappearing. All right, two and five eighth depth of cut. We're gonna test it on this two by eight. Again, blade right. A lot of people love blade right, especially the right handers. I'm a right hander, I like my blade left but to each your own. All right, let's adjust our depth. You know, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna cut these boards the exact same size. Let's get it all the way down. I already have my, my line cut for me on the next board. Two. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yep, we got our cut. I flipped the board over. Where'd my pencil go? Welcome to my life. <sighs> Now we're gonna adjust the depth. I don't need to get all the way down. It's good right there. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Woo -wee. Oh, that's a nice cut right there. And if you ask me, that woodage right there, real smooth. Now, just to let you know, everything that I'm using in this video today came directly out of the box. You get the 24 tooth blade. You're gonna get the 4 age bat ray, but you could always use something bigger if you wanted a little less sag. You get the charger with this and you, uh, you get the saw. Let's do a couple more cuts real quick with this. Two by eight treated piece of woodage. You know, this, this blade right is making these camera angles extremely tough for me, but we gotta do what we gotta do. All right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Slicing in a dicing. Slicing in a Yeah, the dust extraction, it's real nice like. Yeah. Now obviously I have a bunch of scrap woodage right here and you know the best thing to do with this is just toss them into your neighbor's yard and pretend like you have no idea where they came from. So it's a solid little saw. Check out that blade stop. It's real nice slack. You also got an LED light right there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's definitely there. 
so windy. So all in all, this is a good weekend warrior, you know, prosumer saw. Definitely not the most powerful, but it definitely has a little bit of bite. All of the adjustments super smooth to make. The build quality feels good, but the price is where it's gonna get you. And that, my friends, well, it's right there. Oh yeah, and it's a uh, 100% brushless. Now, the one thing that really gets me about this saw is how light the freaking thing is. I mean, it's just super easy. Like, if you're getting in those awkward areas, maybe you're cutting joists above your head and all that good stuff. For a seven and a quarter inch saw, I mean, now, no positive stops on this, but I didn't expect there to be considering the price. But as far as it goes with the adjustments, very smooth on that. You just lock that down to where you need it to be. And you can put your edge guide right there. Now, again, I am a blade left kind of Mayan. But if you're blade right, this might be a good saw for, like I said, around the house, you know, handyman. Somebody doesn't want to drop like $400 on a freaking circular saw, but you still want to get the job done. 350 cuts on a single piece of two by four pineage. And that's what they single for AH bat ray. Plus you got a five year warranty. And what's really cool about the skill tools. I mean, listen, they have been around forever. If you have a grandfather, a father, Guarantee they probably had a skill tool. They went silent for a little while, and man, they are just coming back with a vengeance. I mean, just dropping tool after tool after tool. Real nice, like. I mean, the damn thing feels comfortable. Hell, you even got a little rafter hook right there with the on-tool storage. Yeah, so take your blade out. Just hit that button right there. Now, if this saw is not powerful enough for you, and again, this is great for you know DIY projects around the house or lighter jaws. If you want something with a little bit more oomph and you're in the skill line, check this one out. Magic. This is their dual bat ray rear handle beast. And this thing is real nice. Like I'll leave that video for you right here. If you like this video, please don't forget to smash that like button, get subscribed. We put out new videos multiple times a week. You don't want to miss out on those and share this with your friends. They're going to like you a lot more. I promise you we'll be back with more videos soon.